further in, come further in. They weren't safe in the open. Only when they had led them into a dark spot where four trees grew so close that their boughs met and the brown earth and pine needles could be seen underfoot, did they begin to talk. The trees were always listening. The whole wood was full of the witch's spies. Mr. and Mrs. Beaver led the children on a journey to the witch's house, Care Paravel, where there were four thrones on which, if the children were to sit, they would end not only the white witch's reign, but also her life. Mr. Beaver led the way. The trees began to get thinner in front of them. They came out under the open sky and found themselves looking upon a fine sight. They saw a light ahead and something cold and soft was falling on them. They walked forward towards the lamppost with snow underfoot and snowflakes falling through the air. And there they saw what must be the White Witch's house. Ker Paravel was really a small castle that seemed to be all towers. An extraordinary place, full of stone animals and people too. And in they went.